So, press conference for QPR. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Hello and welcome to the video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So Barry Bannon been the first one to step up for the plate today for the press conference, and it was very interesting what he said. Um, and you expect your skipper to come out and say stuff. It's part and parcel of the job. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Like and help the algorithm. Share and get in front of people's faces. And subscribe and let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. Uh, so Barry Bannon went on to say the manager wasn't happy. The players weren't happy. There were loud words that James Bannon said after the Borough aftermath there were a few home truths told which were what needed we're going to lose game throughout the season but we're always losing and monday was a bad way we need to make sure it doesn't happen again during the season we had a bad performance we've always bounced back and we need to get back to that we had a meeting and inquest and hopefully in the last six days we won't see any more performance like that as a bad as monday was we're still only one way win away from getting out out the drop zone, and we need to focus on that. We have to be positive going forward in this game. We need to be focused going to QPR in the, and right the wrongs. But talk is cheap, and now we look at the sick game and put the performance in. I know we can come back and kick on. Bare minimum, the band will get on Saturday the 110% for the players. And if the right shepherd went to turn up, I am confident we'll get a result. We're thinking positive. Uh, and focused and getting the job done. I'm not talking about relegation. We're trying our hardest to avoid that. Now, Barry Bannon also went on to turn around and say about the situation with contract. We know how Chan Siri likes to run contract down to each season. Um, and he's probably trying to keep players hungry right to the end, but I don't think it works. Uh, Barry Bannon has said he doesn't know where future lies and that uncertainty can be harmful. Um, these are the players that we've got. Windath, Iorfa, Palmer, Bernard, Volks, Fletcher, Dawson, Gregory, Byers, Backington, Brennan and Bannon are all out of contract in the summer. And then you've got Delgado contract situation, which is on there. We don't know if it's next year or the year after. Uh, Beadle, Ugbo, Diaby, Perveda, Pedersen and Hendricks are all on loan. That's a huge chunk of your squad that's not going to be there. And he did say, this could be my last sick game for the club. And I don't want it to be another relegation. He doesn't know where his future lies. Uh, this time last season, there were 15 players out of contract. Now, uh, he's it's well documented that he committed to a bigger deal in 2021 when we in League One. But he's he's adamant, admits this could be final season at Wednesday. Uh, he goes on to say, I've not heard anything. He said, when asked if it's been offered a new day, I think it's just a case of knuckling down these last six games and what will be, will be. It's a nice, uh, it's not a nice situation, but I think the club going forward need to learn from this and make sure this doesn't happen because it's happened in the last few se seasons. It's not a good situation. We had talks after the Huddersfield game that one of the topics I brought up, it was a case of not being selfish and putting club first. If you can get the club safe, the, safe and your negotiating power in the season, whether I'm here or elsewhere, is a lot stronger in the championship than it will be in League One. But listen, we're all human and everyone thinks they've probably played a part of it. I think as a club, we need to make sure this never happens again. But I insist that uncertainty will be a motivation rather than a distraction. For him, he knows for everyone it's not the same. That probably at the back of my mind at the minute, focused on winning game. If this is the season where my Sheffield went to career ends, I want to be a big season for me, a season I look on and be proud of. I know fighting relegation, not something to be proud of, but it still be achievement considering the season started bottom with seven points from 18 at the end of November. They could be my last six games at the club. I will give it all. I will give fans something to cheer about at the end of the business. Lucky for me, I'm coming toward the end of my career. career so... What will be, will be. I'll just fight, be fighting to keep the club in the league. But there are younger players in there who have got a good few years left and not knowing where they're going to be for families and kids. Uh, school, it's hard for them. If people's future were clear, a lot easier, I think you could put the club first. And that's the thing. At the minute in time, the club is paying your wages, so you need to fight for the club and what will be, will be. And that's the thing. There's a lot of players who are youngsters who are doing this. We gotta stop this cycle of running player contract down to the end of the season. It gotta stop. It doesn't do any good. I think it does cause more harm. We had it the season we went down. 
the season on the down where we went down. We had it then. People don't know where they're going to be. And it's it's not good. And I think I understand a little bit what Chan said, Chan said, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like Danny Rule has said in a press conference a couple of weeks ago, Barry Bannon will be here next year. Has something suddenly changed with Barry Bannon going, I'm not too sure where I'm going to be? Who knows? But here's the thing. We have to start having it. That contract gets sorted earlier. You can't keep doing it at the end of the season. It's not healthy. Every club seems to get every, all their deals done with players who they want to sign a little bit earlier, around February, around around January, around February. Everyone seems to get deal point in front of them. A classic example at the minute is Donny Rovers. They don't know if they're going to be challenging for playoffs or if they're going to be a mid-table season after how they've done. But they're getting new players. They're getting their players to longer deals now. We can't do that because of the situation we're in. D DC will not do uh, that because he's like, oh, I don't know what league they're going to be in, so I don't know what it is. And he, he's probably in the back of his mind going, I don't want to reward this for a relegation season. But at the end of the day, it will be some achievement if we stay up. But it's a big if. So we'll see what Danny got to say in the press conference. I expect this press conference to be a little bit feisty and very interesting indeed. So hold on to your hat for that one. So Danny spoke to the press as well. He said he was shot by the front. They look at the chance of versus Swans. They need to do better. They need to do better in defence as well. They show clips and show what they need to do and make them see what they need to get back, drop back, and need to stay up yet again. And it's one of those things that was interesting when he was talking about it. It's like you look at what Swansea did versus QPR and QPR versus Swansea even. There wasn't much in it. He said there was so much we could have taken from that game and we just didn't. He said we can talk about player contract and they need to uh, get this fixed. We need to make sure that this does not keep happening. Danny said it needs to be a better way of sorting deals out. Says it will be improved. Uh, more talk about long term than season to season. It's something we've been wanting for a while. If that's something you want to see as a long term thing and not having... 18 players out of contract, 17 out of players out of contract last season. We can't keep doing this. Uh, we need to do better in the bot for set play, but we also need to get it sorted for the next four weeks and fix them, and we need to come back and again. He said we need to fight for every inch on the pitch uh, versus QPR, and he kept on going, we can do this, we can do this. Uh, Danny, you could Danny, you could tell Danny was a bit stern today in the press conference, but also got a bit more light-hearted when uh, Cran and uh, Miller... Start talking. Deshaun is a question mark for the game, but everyone bar from Deshaun and possibly uh, Lee Gregory are a uh, question mark, but everyone back. It's you, but Buta, Patterson, and Windaf back. Great new for that. It could have some game changes there. They will be a bit rusty, but you give them 10, 20 minutes, it might help. We need to do better from our mistakes. We need to get back at it again. Um, in, he said, when we tend to have setbacks, we've gone and gone better again. He, he brought up the Millwall. He brought up the uh, Cardiff game. He brought up the Huddersfield game. We seem to always come back. But it does seem like this team does tend to need a bit of a rollicking before they can get back into playing better. He spoke about improvements of infrastructure, making the training ground stadium. He got a list of stuff he wants to improve and saw everything from squad uh, to... That, that and his long-term goals. He says it's a big lift. He'll throw it at the chairman and see what can happen. But he, he says, as well, the first thing we need to do is stay in the league. But he knows that he also can't have things just done done straight away kind of thing. He was speaking about the under-21s and the eight under-18s, about how uh, they've had a discussion about some players, how he wants to play, uh, having some more bases left for players to come into so they can have players come and train. Uh, again, we spoke about this link up today and yesterday videos. I think it's a good thing. He said uh, it's a different feeling from the Huddersfield game. Uh, it sounded more like there's a kind of case of, look, it was this many points. It's one point. That's all it is. We can do this. Uh, Pato should be registered today as well. Uh, he also mentioned that he doesn't sleep much either, which I thought was an interesting comment. But 
Danny seems very motivated to get this done. The word he kept on do, using was, we can do this, we can do this. And you just hope the players buy into that and they can do it. Because Danny in that press conference was very passionate to show what he wants to do. He said if he keeps Wednesday up, it'll be the biggest thing he's achieved in his career because it's his first manager's job. You look, and he kept on pointing out like when he came in, no win all season, 13 points adrift, they looked all done and dusted, and he'd come in and changed it. But these little kind of things keep happening. But the big thing I took away from this was long-term thinking. He's thinking long-term for the club, long-term vision, long-term this. He wants things to be done in a different way. And you know it's bad when the manager and the captain have now said that the way things are done by Chancery are just not good enough. Bannon said it about the contract. Danny said it. This should be a clear message to Chancery is change how you do things. You do not give contracts let contracts run low to the end of the season and go, oh, we'll sort it then. That's not how it's done. We need to have it where players know what they're doing, how they're going to be. 18 players out of contract, it's a big turnover again. You can't keep having big turnover over big turnover over big turnover. It's not healthy. And it's been something we've done for many, many years now. But Danny thinks we're ready for this. Uh, we'll see what happens. He know QPR will be a tough game. Uh, we're just going to go out there and play how we did in those four games where we went on the run and see, hope to see what happens. We do tend to do a bit better when we have to come back up from a, run, a defeat and tough, so we'll see. Uh, but we've got to take our chances.